The NBA season is in full swing here with Timberwolves All-Star Center Carl Anthony Towns. We just got done watching the screening of Forgiving Johnny, a short film in which Carl is involved in. First and foremost, Carl, how did you get involved in this project and what drew you to this project? I think it's a shout out to my team, my team um, bringing this amazing opportunity and this amazing story to me. Um, really uh, drove my creative gears and I really wanted to be able to uh, utilize this film to uh, instill change and education and give some education to all the fans and everyone. For those who don't know, what is your role in the film? I'm an executive producer, so uh, I had a bunch of time with this film. I spent a lot of time. Um, it's an amazing film. I appreciate you guys. I never want coming out to support it, but um, I think this film just shows how technology can be used uh, the right way in the right hands and uh, for Johnny saved his life. Yeah, for those who haven't seen the movie or want the opportunity to see the movie, what can you tell them about what it's about yeah, and what they can look forward absolutely. to? Absolutely. Public Defender in L.A., Noah Cox is uh, representing Johnny. Johnny is a, has lead in his blood. He's a disabled man, but uh, finds himself after altercation at his own house <laughs> um, in jail for a year already in custody and now looking at maximum of up to 20 years in state prison. Um, it's an amazing story how even the circumstances of him getting to jail with his sister right, in his right. house. Um, but uh, his story is it's 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 moving um, from mom having him at a late age, dies of a stroke at five, um, really just taken in by his sister and um, husband, and then finding himself uh, in trouble. Um, it was only because of the work of Noah Cox and, and really taking the time as a public defender, which very rare, rarely have the time to make the best of cases, but him giving everything he has to all his clients and um, finding this rule that people didn't even know were in, was enacted in yeah. effect and got himself, uh, got him to, uh, you know, be, be diverted into a different path than going to state prison. How did you hear about this story? And when you did, why did it strike such a chord with you that you wanted to get involved yeah. in this way? Um, like I said, my team, amazing job. Shout out to CA and my agent uh, finding this opportunity for me. But on the other end, um, it, it, the social justice work I do, um, it just struck a chord with me as a man who's uh, a man of color and to see how the system has put a lot of us in uh, behind bars for a lot of times not the right reason not nearly worth the punishment that's given for the crime um, I thought this would be a great opportunity to one show technology being used in the right hands to um, able to educate people on this amazing law that may help people in LA from um, their families or themselves as well if they were ever in trouble knowledge is power sure. so to be able to share that and three I think this um, just shows the word grace right Cause that, was, only, cause that was a movie, big word in the movie yeah, yeah the movie the movie is about forgiving johnny and noah found himself finding grace in that forgiveness for johnny when people see the film when they're done seeing the film what do you want them to take away from it when they they're done watching the movie uh just to be one more knowledgeable about the, the laws and avenues that they could possibly take in la if they were ever in trouble and or their family members or a friend to be able to share this knowledge is key um, but two, just that everyone deserves forgiveness. And I think the word grace, like you said, has been a big word in the film and it's stuck with a lot of people I've talked to after. Um, it's something that kind of is lacked nowadays and it's always not the popular option. Um, but in grace, you know, good people always finish with the best reward. So for Noah, he uh, finished with not only a successful case, but an even better reward in finding himself getting forgiveness for what he's done when you look at social justice and your involvement in it how have you noticed things changing around here in twin cities yeah i, I think that um it, it's taken some unfortunate events to really pick up steam of the change here in minneapolis and minnesota um i'm obviously part of the restore the vote initiative as well which today is a great day to see uh incarcerated incarcerated uh individuals uh finally get their american privilege of voting to be a true American citizen, you have to be able to vote. So for them to have that back after I've talked to people, they haven't voted in their whole entire lives. They haven't voted in 15 years. Um, one silly mistake, you know, kind of eliminates you from being an American citizen, which is not right. So I'm glad that we were able to uh, make that work and make that happen. And um, I, there's a lot more change to go. 
um, obviously with the George Floyd act now being um, enacted. I was there at the White House to see it being put in. Um, I'm just really happy with the things I've been able to help in because it, it, it takes a team, it takes a village to make a lot of these things happen. So um, to, the, to everyone who's helped, uh, you know, this is a win for all of us, but we have a lot more work to do. Um, and I'm excited. I'm excited. You know, um, it's like a win. You know, you get a win, you want more and more and more. So just trying to find different ways that I could affect change and still change in this community for the kids so their lives are better than the ones we had. Last couple for you. Is there a future in filmmaking for Carl <laughs> Anthony Towns? Is this just the beginning of other projects uh, you might be interested in getting in? You never know. You never yeah. know. I've been in front of the camera. This was really cool to be behind it. And, uh, uh, to see at the film festivals and everything how much people have enjoyed this movie and the short film and um, It's stuck with them after I, I think that's what's really uh, Makes me really proud about being part of this project one last thing for you on the film for fans who want to see the film How can they see the film? Um, they should be able to see it over on YouTube or also we'll be able to provide it I'm hoping to uh, I'll be able to put the link up on my uh, socials and soon perfect perfect yeah. Carl, thanks for the time. Appreciate we appreciate you. Thank you so much.